chapter 11. Interrogations. Are you guilty? <laughs> no! Thank you for your time. Sweet. Investigative journalist, Maddie Moore, <laughs> got her into the bottom of it. CNN got the scoop. And they CNN. broke the story of Lanny getting arrested first. And then Fox News broke the story the next day and was like, these are allegations, okay? And in fact, there's no proof. There's, no, there's proof. no proof. There's no proof. It was locker room talk. And now we're going to nominate him for the Supreme yeah. Court, actually. Um, so, uh, f your feelings. Let's not ruin a promising young man's life. You right. know, he's, he's an athlete, is what I heard. I heard he went to Stanford. The allegations are just that allegations. There is no proof, um, except he was wanted in the state of Texas and Oklahoma, so I would not want to be Lanny's lawyer, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Orlando Calderas Wallace is his real name. That's where we get Lanny from Orlando, but he's not Lancelot. Not Lancelot. Yeah, um, Carlisle injected him with some secret sauce from his <laughs> doctor bag. And, from his doctor bag. Uh, Lanny just woke up arrested. And he's like, I hate murder. I don't like to kill things, but I really hope that Orlando gets tried in Texas where there's the death penalty. Cause I vote electric chair for that guy. Electric chair. What's your sentence for, for her? Electric chair. <laughs> I hate killing, love the death penalty. He's gonna go pick up Bella for school. He's like, uh, Alice, do you mind driving everybody else? She's like, I'll wait until you're ready for Bella to know me, but you should know this isn't just me being selfish, okay? Bella's gonna like me too. And uh, Edward says, I didn't answer her as I hurried out the door. <laughs> Hard ignore. Hard ignore. Alice, enough of you today. And then he thinks, would Bella want to know Alice? <laughs> who, who would want to know Alice? <laughs> Heart and soul chopsticks playing Alice. That fucking bitch. Sings over your piano playing. Yeah. He drives to Bella's house to pick up for school, even though he left her house like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> and she doesn't know that he's picking her up. It's a surprise. <laughs> Bella turned away from the door in such a hurry that she nearly ran right by my car without noticing it. Then she skidded to a stop, her knees locking like startled colts. Uh, uh, wah! He realizes she's wearing this very unbecoming sweater. <laughs> this he, nasty sweater. He does not like this sweater. Does he not like does not. He hates this sweater. The long sweater was too big for her unflattering. It masked her slender figure, turning all her delicate curves and soft lines into shapeless jumble. Uh, so Bella just walks out of the house like an abstract painting. <laughs> Full on picasso -ing. Yeah, Her <laughs> eyes are like over here. One boob here, one down there. If you can't see boob, then wear sh <laughs> what body? I appreciated this almost as much as I wish that she had worn something more like the soft blue blouse she had on last <laughs> night. The fabric had clung to her skin in such an appealing way, cut low enough to reveal the mesmerizing shape of her collarbones. The blue had flowed like water along the subtle shape of her body. Oh my god! Boner <laughs> alert! I mean, it's probably the best that I don't have a have to hide a boner all day at school. It's good that she's wearing that sweater because it's keeping me from resisting temptation, but also f*** that sweater. I want to see some titties! I'm glad she looks ugly today, ultimately, because if not, I would f*** her to death. <laughs> it's always about what she's wearing. She only got attacked in Port Angeles because she was wearing the boner blouse. Ugh. What did she expect? She should have known better. The bitch. Just kidding, that's victim Idiot. blaming. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, this is wear. all this sarcasm. Is a joke. A joke. Capital letters all around sarcasm. Edward. Since he's going a full vampire now, he gets out of the car and says, I got out, taking no care to move at human speed and open the passenger door for her. I would not try to deceive her anymore. When we were alone, at least, I would be myself. I'm fast. <laughs> what of it? <laughs> what about Let it? me get your door before you even knew you wanted me to get your door. That's called chivalry, bitch. <laughs> Edward being in full spooky mode, um, <laughs> he startles her again I, as he seemingly materialized out of the fog, just like, Bleh, you want to ride with me today? <laughs> Would you like a ride to school today with me, Bella? <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Those boys are so slow. Oh my oh, god, thanks. abracadabra. This is more character growth and development. He says, unlike dinner last night, I would let her choose. From now on, it must always be her choice. What a good way to go about consent. Always ask, even if you think you know the answer. Yeah, because I mean, just hearing yes is sexy. sexy. Would it ever cease to thrill me that I was the one she was saying yes to? Pleasure all around. Serotonin, consent king. Serotonin and dopamine, dopamine are just ping. <laughs> she agrees, she gets in that car, and what is waiting for her? <gasps> but the jacket, it's his jacket. And Bella's like, is that for me? 
Ew, ew. Like, yeah, well, I just, I didn't want you to be cold, and I know you loved your jacket. Yeah. And Jessica's car. Um, it's not that I want you to wear my jacket, and I really like seeing you wear my jacket. It's just because I don't want you to be cold. And I know and that all you own is, <laughs> is that jacket you left in Jessica's car, the boner blue shirt, this lumpy green sweater. Yeah, and one pair of jeans and a long khaki skirt. So I gotta look out for my girl. He's like, Bella, you're entirely too chill about this. Like, it kind of freaks me out how chill you are about this. She's like, uh, actually, I'm just open-minded and I'm being honest with you about my feelings and my attraction to you. And he's like, okay, well, I'm deeply insecure and don't like myself at all. So, uh, you know, when you see me for who I truly am and me not liking myself, it just makes me think that maybe I am worthy of love. And it's a lot for him and he can't take it. Confidence, baby. Confidence. Confidence. Zaz ra give him the old razzle dazzle. dazzle. So Rosalie has to drive her car to school today and she pretends to be mad about it. And Bella reads Edward de Phil. She says, wow. If she has that, why does she ride with you? Oh, Ooh, points were made. I mean, honestly, like the Volvo is a little square. It's not supposed to be ostentatious. Ostentabulous. Ostentabulous. <laughs> Bella's like, so then why did Rosalie drive if it's more conspicuous? Edward's like, hadn't you noticed? I'm breaking all the rules now. Ooh. <laughs> so they pull up to school and Jessica Stanley is like, no f way how? her eyes are bulging out of her head like a sick pug so she's like how did bella pull this off i have bigger boobies <laughs> she's thinking like okay well i'm gonna make her tell me everything um and then she like greets them and immediately starts fantasizing about her friend's boyfriend right in front of her <laughs> jessica's thoughts were suddenly disjointed and she let her wordless fantasies swirl through her head <laughs> i winced at her speculations and not just because she replaced bella with herself in the mental pictures it couldn't be like that and yet i I wanted. I resisted making the admission even to myself. In how many wrong ways would I want Bella? Which, Which one would, would end, end up, up killing her? her? He's correct. There's a prophecy. She will die. He shook his head and tried to lighten up. Keep it light. Keep it light. Keep it light. Edward's like, so Jessica's going to ambush you in class and um, ask you about our night in Port Angeles. Bella's like, what is she going to ask me? And Edward's like, I'm not telling because that's not fair. And Bella's like, no, that's a double standard. There are only two things I don't like, and one of them is lying, and the other one is double, double standards. standards. Okay. And so he's like, okay, fine, I'll tell you. Like, anything for you, babe, you know, except, like, physical touch or words of affirmation. <laughs> he's like, well, she wants to know if we're secretly dating and how you feel about me. And Bella's like, what should I tell her? And he's like, well, I guess you could say yes to the first one. If, if you, you don't, don't mind. mind. <laughs> and she's like, I, I don't, don't mind. mind. I don't mind at all. And as for the second part, well, I'll be listening. <laughs> They're so flirty. They're, They're so, so flirty. flirty. We get none so of this cute. in the movie. So he literally reverse psychologies her into being his girlfriend. Like, he's like, so someone else is going to ask what we are. And she's like, what are we? And he's literally like, I secretly don't know. dating? <laughs> you tell me, are we secretly dating? <laughs> this is the cute romance that we love, that we, that we feel in, in our hearts when we <laughs> read the book. We're getting hot and bothered and we haven't even gone to the first class. But tragedy, Jessica has Bella's jacket. So Bella has to give Edward's jacket back. But Edward's like, it smells amazing. I'm gonna smell it all day, at all day, all, long, day. all day long. <laughs> and then he turns on his heel like, hmm, take that. And then he walks away and is like, see you in class. Skips away like, toodaloo, darling. It's such a hot scene. It's, it's so, so good. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so good. But he literally, it's another mood swing because he goes from one second being like, I could never be with her to being like, okay, I'm just gonna let her make up her mind and then I'll be listening and it'll be really cute. You were wearing my jacket. Like, there's no going back now. We are betrothed. <laughs> he watches Bella all day through other people's thoughts and finally it's time for trigonometry with Jessica. So he's like psyched. He's like, this is when I'm going to get my answer. She sits down next to Jessica and Edward is watching through Jessica's thoughts and he smiles so wide that Rob Sawyer, who sat at the desk to my right, flinched visibly and slid deeper into his seat away from me and is like, ugh, creepy. <laughs> I'm picturing like a creepy anime smile like when the bad guy is just like crazed in the face and edward's just sitting there 
being so scary. He's listening for the tea about himself and Bella's like, he drives like a maniac. And Edward's like, I do. <laughs> Edward laughs out loud because he's just happy to be part of an inside joke. <laughs> and the entire class, including the teacher, just all turn and stare at him. Like, excuse me, are you okay? He tries to cover it up as a cough, but no one believes him. <laughs> it doesn't work. They're like, I've never heard you cough in your entire life. <laughs> so Jess is like, has he kissed you? And Bella's like, no, it's not like that. And then Edward's like, oh my God, does she want me to kiss her? <laughs> what? Like a stupid idiot. <laughs> of course she does, dummy. Of course. Of course. Of course. Oh my God, are we gonna kiss? No. Um, no, okay. it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. So now Edward's thinking about kissing Bella. Mm -hmm. And he's like, uh, for a half second, I was distracted by the idea, the impossibility of what it would be like to try to kiss Bella. My lips to her lips, cold stone to warm, yielding silk. And then she dies. <laughs> <laughs> I shook my head, wincing and refocused. Ay, ay, ay. No kisses for you. Bella's like, okay, I'll give you a detail. Like the waitress was super pretty and he didn't even look at her. And Jessica's like, well, he must like you if he didn't f the waitress. <laughs> Jessica was like, ah, he's unbelievably gorgeous. And Bella's like, there's a lot more to him than that. Okay. And, Je and Jessica says, really? Like, like what? what? Really? Like what, Bella? Name one thing about him that is like better than how hot he is. And she's like, I can't tell you because it's a secret. You know, he's he, a little moody, he's a little but moody. Um, he's hot and he wants to eat me. Ding and ding. And you wish, Jessica, don't you fucking wish. Jessica's like, I'm sick of this shit. I need some answers. How much do you like him? Bella's like, too much, more than he likes me. And Edward's like, more than he likes me? How could she come up with that? It's time for Jim. Emmett hates Jim because he's like Dash in The Incredibles. He's always <laughs> having to dial everything back. It's not fun. He's like, I'm way too strong for this. I'm too fast. And it's like, not fair. I want to play the game. Coach right. Clap. Coach Clap. Coach Clap is starting his diet tomorrow. Coach Clap is starting his diet tomorrow. Alice thinks just a few more days to be patient. I suppose you won't say hi to Bella for me, would you? And Edward shakes his head exasperated. He's like, no, no, give it a rest. Okay, so now it's lunchtime. They're in the cafeteria. Jessica's like, I guess you're not sitting with us today, are you? And Bella's like, I don't think so. Jessica looks over at um, Edward and thinks, he looks so perfect, young. And Edward thinks, how ironic, for she was the young. <laughs> So Edward's like, she thinks that she likes me more than I like her. Absurd. Then he walks up to her and says, hello, I said, my voice a tad curt. <laughs> How <laughs> could she think I don't like her? Hello. Hi. He gets a bunch of food for the two of them and he's like, take whatever you want. She basically dares him to eat food. She's like, what would happen if you ate food? And he's like, I mean, okay. And he just takes a bite of the pizza and he's like, gross. He ha has to choke it back up later. Ooh, disgusting. disgusting. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe you just did that. And he's like, okay, well, if someone asked you to eat dirt, you could. And she was like, yeah, I did. Yes, because I have. <laughs> yes, because I have done that. Yeah, no, I did eat the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the dirt. I ain't no bitch. It wasn't that bad. Didn't like it. Didn't hate it. Then Rosalie freaks out because Edward realizes he never told any of them that Bella knows they're vampires. <laughs> and Rosalie's finding out right now. She's like, what? <laughs> She knows everything. I drove my red car here today for this. He's like, oh, did I forget to tell you? Um, Yeah, I just haven't seen you because I've been at Bella's house the whole time. <laughs> oh, I figured God. Alice would tell you guys because she does uh, all my errands for me. Edward decides to confront Bella about um, her saying that she likes him more than he likes her. Something you said to Jessica upset me. She was like, oh. <laughs> Well, something you heard in a private conversation between me and my friend um, bothered you. I'm so sorry, but you know, you know what they say about eavesdroppers. <laughs> Makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> He's like, how can you believe that you care for me more than I care for you? She's taking a really long time to respond. Edward said he was, he was about to start begging her and then she held up a finger to keep him from speaking. And she's like, let me think, let me think. He's like, why is it taking her so long to think? It's all that dirt that she ate. <laughs> she ate too much dirt back in the day and now her brain is dirt. <laughs> That's why I can't hear her thoughts. <laughs> it was all the dirt. <laughs> she's got a dirty mind. And he's basically just like, okay, but no matter what she says, there's still nothing she's done to deserve my underworld. 
No one could deserve that. She wants that underworld. She wants to get all up in that underworld. <laughs> yeah, she does. And then they start being flirty again. And thank, thank God. God. Because this was getting stupid. So Edward's like, all right, I got another question for you. Bella's like, shoot. Do you really need to go to Seattle this Saturday? Or was that just an excuse to get out of saying no to all your admirers? And she's like, no! I uh, did have to go to Seattle. No, I don't, no, I don't lie. I don't like to lie. I don't lie. I, I have important business in Seattle. He goes, okay, because, I mean, if that's the case, whatever. It's just, I was thinking, um, you know, I offered you a ride to Seattle, but would you be up for doing something different? And she's like, well, yeah, I don't have I to, don't go, have to, to go, go to Seattle. Seattle so. <laughs> It's not like I made I, that up. I didn't have anything to do there. It was just like, you know, an excuse, like a lie, like mm -hmm. I'm a liar. Then Edward is like, okay, cool. If we're hanging out, you should probably tell your dad that you're with me. And she's like, no, why would I tell my dad? No, ew, no, that's ew. so embarrassing. Why would I tell my dad about a date I'm going on, Edward? That's weird. And he's like, if I kill you, dummy. If you don't come back, I want him to know it was me. <laughs> Game <laughs> of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Sassy, I wanted to know he was me. Edward's like, okay, well, it's supposed to be sunny. And do you remember when I told you that I was gonna show you what happens with me in the sun? And she's, she's like, ah! she's let's like, do okay, it. Sounds good. Seattle. I never even Seattle. had to go anyway. They're talking about how he's going to go hunting right before their date so that he doesn't f*** up and accidentally eat her instead. We learn now that Emmett likes hunting bears because he was killed by a bear. And Edward likes mountain lion because He's a little kitty cat. She's like, can I watch you? And he's like, absolutely not. I snarled at her. She jerked away from him, shocked and frightened by his sudden rage. She's like, oh, why? And he's like, because I will slaughter you. Anyway, time for class. The bell rings and they dip. And that's the end of the chap. Cute. It's like their first day at school as a couple. I know. Back to biology class. And now we're secretly oh, man. dating. It's about to go down in biology. Find out what happens in biology. You just click the next video. Do it.